So we are back at the Liverpool Philharmonic Hall. Welcome to vlog number two. What are you going to do on your 21st birthday then, Rosie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose I could go to a gig. <laughs> I like going to gigs. You can go to a strip club now. I could go to a Fleetwood Mac gig. Oh, yeah, that's no. really nice. They're not touring anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So today we're at the Crawley Horth. Crawley is just outside London. This is prime commuter territory for those who work in London but can't afford to live in the centre of London. I'm in my dressing room at the moment. We're halfway through the show. Um, I think this dressing room was last cleaned just before I first played here about seven or eight years ago. But hey ho. Anyway, um, a couple of interesting facts about the Crawley Horth. Um, it's in Crawley. Uh, it's actually a really nice, good, fun gig. It's a good little theatre. Um, in dressing room one, I believe, or possibly dressing room two, I played the solo on the Liam Gallagher song Misunderstood. So a video all about that on my YouTube channel. If you're going to watch that, I'll link it in the top right hand corner right now. Other than that, it's time to do the second half. <laughs> Here. Barbecue time. <laughs> so we got a smoke machine. Uh, oh yes. Got the chicken going on. Yep. Have you not even bothered to marinade? We might put some salt and pepper on if you're lucky, <laughs> if I'm honest. But you know, we're living the dream. Yeah, love that. And we have this hot is sauce. The only good thing to do in Crawley. Oh, I don't know. Don't offend the uh, don't offend the listeners. No, that's true. And for those listening or, or watching, preferably, <laughs> Crawley is a fantastic place to come and hang out. And yep. you should urgently come here for your holiday. Absolutely. My only request was hot sauce and uh, halloumi, but they ate the halloumi because I was a little bit slow to the party. Oh well. What have you got, Rosie? I've got some bread and cheese. I'm waiting for this baby to be cooked. Yeah, I know. It's very exciting. We should this... probably tell those, considering this is actually my blog, who's actually behind the camera here. Well, maybe it's a surprise. <laughs> maybe they'll never know. How do you turn around? Is this something you can still do? Yeah, Can you turn it around? Do I have to just go like this? I think you do. Hello! Have to turn it around. It's me. <laughs> Hi, big reveal. I'm Sophie. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> oh, battery nearly gone. This is the easiest way of vlogging. Yeah, I know. Like just pass great. it to me. That's what Jess does. <laughs> oh, wow. Smashed it. What have you had, James? Hot, tell, tell the camera. Hot dog and halloumi. I'm waiting for a burger. Oh, you ate my Asian halloumi, did you? I had a little bit. It was you. Did you eat the whole thing? Squeaky cheese. <laughs> Squeaky cheese. <laughs> Oh, come on, Chef so Etienne. Sophie, do you want a beer? No, thank you. No, thank you. We don't drink, do we, on gig days? No, we absolutely don't. <laughs> That's a bad idea. I've got a uh, Lucasade, because I'm the sensible one. Sponsored by Corona, are we, Scott? Uh, 
I don't know about that. It was the cheapest in Sainsbury's. Okay, well, thank you for tuning in. It's like ready, steady, cook, but gig day. More swearing. <laughs> ready, steady. Time. <laughs> so, good morning from Tunbridge Wells in Kent. A uh, nice drive on the bus last night, it wasn't too long a journey. Had a really good sleep, so I feel a lot better today. Um, and this morning, I'm on my way to go and find some good coffee because I need to learn some songs. I've perhaps uh, slightly ambitiously booked a gig in for the night off before. We've got a run of four shows, it's show three in the run of four tonight. And I'm on the night off before a gigging crew, I get to go home to Liverpool and I have a gig that night with some old friends of mine and uh, a certain keyboard player named Dave Goldberg, who's also going home, who's the keyboard player in Rumours. So yeah, it should be good. Um, Ethan Allen, Joe Topping, my friend Alec Britz, whose YouTube channel you should go and check out if you like recording gear and all that stuff. He's just, just amazing. So very much looking forward to that. So time to find some good coffee and learn some songs. A couple of top tips for charting songs. Firstly, Use a pencil, don't use a pen because you will make mistakes. Certainly if you're anything like me, I do all the time. So I use one of these little retractable pencils with the rubber on the top. Second, if you're anything like me and work with a bunch of different bands, or certainly have done, and different singers who say, oh, let's do this song in A tonight, and then you work with another singer who says, oh, let's do this song in G tonight, and you've got charts that are really in one specific key, it's a pain to try and mentally transpose. So, I write a lot of my songs in number system, so where one will correspond to chord one of the scale, or four to four of the scale, etc. And once you get used to reading those, it's so much easier, and if someone calls a song in a different key, your brain just automatically changes. Also, I tend to write a few cues on my charts for different instruments, so where the drums come in, where the bass might come in, or if the bass holds a specific note. It's helpful from the point of view of if you're leading the band, or it, so you can instruct people on stage to say, drummer needs to play this if, if the drummer doesn't know the song, for instance, um, which will help you get more gigs because people know you're really prepared. And also just helps you navigate your way through the charts. If you know the drums are dropping out in that bar and you're a bit lost, you've been kind of interacting with the audience, then that's a really good little tip. So I'm about halfway through doing the songs now. We've gone through emergency measures and come to Costa and uh, it's time to get through the rest of the songs. So we're just getting ready to do the gig here in Tunbridge Wells. I thought I'd show you my tech stands little area on stage. So behind me, we've got all my guitars here. It's a bunch of different guitars. Uh, we'll do the rig rundown video soon. Uh, I'm just waiting on a few new bits of gear to arrive but before we do that. But largely the same guitars since the first little vlog. This is my tech stands little workstation. So he's got this tech box with a load of different, there's tapes in this drawer and loads of screwdrivers and various things to repair the guitars. Um, loads of different strings. And then the guitars sit on here. So he will bring a guitar like this onto the workstation and it sits like that. He'll do all the restringing. He'll watch the football on there. Tuner, it's got this little graphic EQ just for if it's particularly noisy on stage, he can kind of adjust that so that the strings still read on the tuner. And he's got the set lists and all the different tunings for the guitars there. And then the sound check order and just cleaner. What's he using? Some sort of Daddario cleaner for the guitars and we use fast fret and things like that. So yeah, all very simple, but very effective. Couldn't do this gig without a tech for sure. Another top tip if you're ever trying to learn songs on the move is to download one of the many free piano apps onto your phone. There's loads of them for Apple and Android phones and they're a great resource just to be able to check that you're in the right key or that you've got the right chord for your chart. So I hope that's helpful.
Well, I've always wanted to know how the buttons work. So show, you were just showing me how the buttons work. So Yeah, so that's like the buttons work. Like they're like that. So if that's G, then you go to C there. These are chords there then. That's really cool. Yeah. So you just it's just whatever whether, it's whatever you wanna it's whatever you wanna do with them like. But whether it's all our fucking stuff or you know. We're in Ram Jam Music in Aberdeen, and we've got my friend Jamie here, who we've just, he's just been showing me these really cool new guitars. Just tell them a little bit about these RJK guitars, Jamie. Yes, they're RJK. So we're making these here in Aberdeen, across the road in our workshop. So it's our own handmade pickups, um, the, you know, our own designs. We're, we can completely flat build them from, from scratch, uh, depending on taste. And these are obviously just an example of some of the ones that we've made for our showroom. Yeah, I've just had a little play of some of these. They're really, really nice. They've got Goto machine heads of stock, really nice fret wire, fret work, and all of that stuff. Yeah, and pickups are all literally handmade, scattered around across the road in our in our workshop by the guys. So, you know, yeah. It's really good. Super I advise hard. you to go and check them out because they're really, they're good prices, really good solid guitars made in Aberdeen. So, good little find for today. Ready to play Smokefest? Let's do it. Yeah. 